Hello guys, this is Zen Pichan. Welcome to my mathematics class. Today I have taken topic limits of logarithmic and exponential function. Uh, today, okay. Today also I have taken okay limit, but uh, different functions here logarithmic and exponential function. Today I will tell you the some standard results. Okay, one uh, this one limit of log of one plus x of x is equal to one as uh, x tends to zero. Second one limit of uh, e raised to power x minus one upon x um, as x tends to zero is equal to one. I will tell you today how to prove uh, these two standard results. Okay. Well, uh, before starting the standard results, uh, I would like to introduce uh, the value of e is an uh, irrational number. Okay. So e is defined over like this: the limit of one plus one upon n raised to power n as n tends to infinity uh, if 1 upon n if we suppose okay 1 upon n h then h tends to 0 as n tends to infinity all right if we use here infinity 1 upon infinity becomes 0 then n h tends to 0 as n uh, tends to infinity so we may have okay value of e like this for limit of 1 plus 1 upon n whole raised to power n as n tends to infinity is equal to limit of 1 plus h whole raised to power 1 upon h as h tends to 0 either in this form or in this form both are the values of e both represent the value of e okay here i have written okay e is an irrational number lying between 2 and 3 okay so what is e, e is an irrational number lying between 2 and 3 its value to 10 places of decimal is this one well, uh, irrational number, so we can't write down the u all places to this. Uh, okay, mm. e is equal to I've written okay, uh, to 10 places of decimal e is equal to 2 into uh, 7, 1, 8, 2, 8, 1, 8, 2, 8, 4, so on. All right, uh, and there's some properties of logarithm I've written because uh, we need here, especially we need here only one last one. Log of m raised to power k is equal to we can write down k times log of um, uh, log of m. All right, uh, here log of m n is equal to log of m plus log n. Log of m upon n is equal to log of m minus log n. And uh, here log of m raised to power k is equal to k times log of m. Right? These are the properties of logarithmic function. Okay? And here, okay, these are the natural log. Here I have not written e to the base e. So we can write it like this way a log of m or a log of m to the base a this means if we, if you are not writing okay base this means okay there is a is understood thing this also natural log e is if base is a uh, then we can say natural log all right okay now i'm going to prove first part um, for standard result uh, first proof it's very simple not so difficult one and uh, a limit a left hand side I'm taking a limit x tends to 0 or uh, okay limit of log 1 plus x upon x right or uh, x as limit x tends to 0 is equal to a uh, limit uh, as x tends to 0 here we can write down 1 upon x uh, times log of 1 upon x I don't think uh, anyone has problem so simple here either you may write down log of 1 upon 1 plus x whole upon x or you may write down in this form 1 upon x times log of 1 plus x so both are uh, representing the same thing okay now uh, limit as x tends to zero now i'm going to use this last one property see very carefully last one property okay of logarithm log of m raised to power k is equal to k times log of m if we have a k times log of m then we can write log of m raised to power k exactly the same thing i'm going to write down here okay this is k less suppose this is your m we can write down okay now this form is in this form we can write down this one okay mm, log of 1 plus x whole raised to power x okay uh, using this all right uh, using this property 
I will return this time. Okay? Uh, now, we will write down like this way also. Uh, log of limit as x tends to 0, 1 plus x, 1 upon x. This way we can write down log is operator. Okay? Uh, this is also limit property. Uh, limit of 1 plus x whole raised to power 1 upon x as x tends to 0. Okay. Now look at here. Here, if we see the value of e, you are going to get here e. Limit of 1 plus h whole raised to power 1 upon h as h tends to 0 also is equal to e. So exactly here I am going to write down okay log e. Log e is equal to 1. Okay. Uh, because see why since okay. Either you may write down log e. Log e means okay, log of e to the base e. Here, okay, if I not written base e, this means there is base e. It's understood thing, natural log. And uh, this is the property of uh, log, right? This is the property of log. When you will see the logarithmic topic, uh, then you can know, right? Uh, you can get all knowledge about the logarithmic function, right? Uh, logarithmic and as well as the logarithmic properties. Log of e is equal to 1. Uh, is equal to right inside. Okay. And now, uh, I think now you're clear. You can write down. Uh, now, first one is we have proved. Right? Uh, okay. Uh, therefore, we can say log of 1 plus x whole upon x as x tends to 0 is equal to 1. We can, while solving the questions of logarithmic function, we can use this standard result. Okay. This means you have to memorize, okay. Uh, I'm writing here CTM, okay. This one also you have to CTM. CTM means committed to memory, all right. CTM means committed to memory. You have to memorize this result. This also you have to memorize uh, when we will start the questions of uh, limits of the logarithmic and exponential functions. At that time, we will use these two results using these two results we will evaluate the limits of logarithmic as well as exponential functions okay uh, first user clear uh, i don't think anyone has problem so everybody you understood okay so let's move guys into the second uh, result uh, second result i'm going to explain this side also okay Mm, proof of second or oh, we can put in uh, let's suppose okay this one putting e raised to power x minus y is equal to y right then uh, e raised to power is equal to x plus y uh, if you take log on both sides raised to power x is equal to log of 1 plus y you're gonna here get x according to this property log e is equal to log of 1 plus y and or x is equal to as okay we know the log e is equal to 1 or uh, is equal to log of 1 plus y here is y or x is equal to log of 1 plus y okay uh, so now let's move in now okay so we have so we have limit as x tends to 0 e raised to power x minus 1 upon x is equal to limit uh, okay, uh, one more thing let me tell you because we have e raised to power x minus 1 is replaced by variable y and uh, here x tends to 0 also going to be replaced. Uh, look at here when x tends to 0 then y also tends to 0. Uh, let me explain this uh, result when x tends to 0. So see okay look at here because okay here we have replaced e raised to power x minus 1 by y uh, when x tends to 0 then I have written y tends to 0 okay 
when x approaches 0 then e raised to power x becomes 1 1 minus 1 is equal to your 0 okay 1 minus 1 becomes 0 so that's why I've written okay when x tends to 0 then y tends to 0 look at here here okay e raised to power x minus 1 is replaced by y here write down y and x okay uh, here I've written x you can write on this this is your x okay for value of x, uh, x can be replaced by log of 1 plus y or i. Uh, okay, here x tends to 0 is replaced by y tends to 0. Okay, now it's very simple. Limit as y tends to 0. Here I'm going to write on y log of 1 plus y whole upon y. So simple, okay, simple algebra here I have used, okay, it goes off when it's simplified, uh, is equal to limit, or uh, here, I'm going to write down like this way, 1 upon y times log of 1 plus y, I think you understood this, okay, 1 upon y log of 1 plus y, okay, uh, okay, no need to explain because, uh, no need to do further, all right, so very in simple way okay now we have proved already log of 1 plus x over x as x tends to 0 is equal to 1 we can use now to prove this result look at here now we can write down okay like this way uh, if we use limit theorem you can find out limit of 1 as y tends to 0 over a uh, limit of log of 1 plus y over y as y tends to 0 as we know 1 is a constant limit of 1 as y tends to 0 is equal to 1 and this one already we have proved in first uh, okay uh, we can use a standard result 1 according to the first standard result 1 uh, is going to be 1 so guys clear i think here uh, 1 upon 1 so 1 how i have written using the first standard result right uh, 1 upon 1 is equal to 1. Alright. So therefore you can write down the limit of e raised to power x minus 1 over x as x tends to 0 is equal to 1. Alright. So hence the proof. This way we can prove. We have proved these two standard results. Okay. These two standard results are very important uh, in finding the limits of logarithmic and exponential functions okay if you have any problem you can write down in comment box definitely i'll give the answers of your questions okay and so don't hesitate to ask questions if you ask more and more questions you will definitely get more and more mathematics okay thank you for watching bye bye